and welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. I want to say uh, welcome to my new subscribers and a hello to all of you who have been with me for a while. I appreciate you, you joining me today as we flip through this, my latest journal. Um, I've named this one In the Meadow and I think it's pretty clear why. Um, uh, the cover's been created with the Edith Holden page and then some die cuts, a lot of textures, and then a little metal plate here that's got memory and then some laces that have been layered and then I wanted to show you the spine on this. Uh, the closure is Sari Silk uh, that's been wrapped around again but let me show you this the spine because this one is so... Uh, I absolutely love it. <clears throat> I acquired these vintage uh, doilies some time back and I've been hoarding them and this one is just it's gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is going to show the detail in that, but I absolutely love it. And uh, I thought, how beautiful on the spine to have that incorporated. So you've got, um, it's ended up again, I would say, let me see if I've got my ruler handy here. Sorry about that. I always think I'm prepared, but I'm not. <laughs> so it really has ended up about, almost three inches. Um, you've got two signatures in here. And on the back I just wanted to include this poem from uh, Edith Holden because I think you can imagine walking through a uh, meadow in, in June with the butterflies and all the wildflowers. So that was my inspiration behind this. So let's open up here. I've got a fabric pocket on the front and then just another little tag here. Uh, a lot of collaging, uh, you know, with, and then I've to add some gesso. And then this one I've got a little uh, belly band, and I've layered up some uh, laces and fabrics. And this is a genuine um, tea. This is a tea card, this one, and then this is an old photograph I've got, and then another little tag that I've just tucked into that little belly band there. And then here I've just taken one of the time cards and then I thought that would be a nice place to make little notes as to, you know, maybe the, the year that you're journaling in or the month, depending on <laughs> if you journal like me, this would probably last you a lifetime. So <laughs> I just don't find time to journal. Um, I'm, I, I do, you know, play around with it. But anyways, back to the journal. I've digressed again. Okay, so here... Again, another, um, I love these, how these come out, and then this just pulls out, so you've got a big journaling card there, and that tucks back in. These are always so difficult when the camera's on, and I don't know why. Okay, I'll set that to the side. Um... So then this flips over, you've got more writing space here, but then inside I've just added this little Velcro um, notepad, and I, I love that image. So here you've got all this extra writing space. Like I said, there's a lot, a lot of uh, space for you to write in here, and then that closes, this comes back, and then that will go back into the pocket there. So going into the journal itself, <clears throat> another Edith Holden uh, altered book page um, pocket and then another little stamped tag and then this is another of the altered jumbo um, playing card and I've backed that one with some avocado dyed paper. I've done the last week I was trying to squeeze in some avocado dyeing in between everything and it just came out beautiful. Here, I just had this extra bit of baking paper, and I thought, oh, actually, I can make a tiny, tiny envelope there. So, um, again, using Artie Mae's floral kit. Love that kit. <laughs> I think you know by now. <laughs> so, lots of different um, vintage book pages. And then here, you've got another big tag that you could um, embellish or journal on. Another Edith Holden book page, and this is a Tracy Fox, <clears throat> excuse me, Love Junk Journals, 
is her shop on Etsy, and that's from one of her kits. I can't recall which kit right off. Tracy's got a lot of kits, and I, I do struggle to remember each of hers. <laughs> um, more avocado paper. Isn't it gorgeous? That, I just love the color that that's come out this time. So over here we've got the um, envelope pockets, and I just did some... Uh, fussy cutting and stitching around this. I love how that's come out. And then on this little postcard, I wanted to have a dimensional um, butterfly because I do I like to see those poking out. And then here I've just taken um, and made a couple of little pockets here. These are envelopes in the center there that I've just stitched into the center of that signature and then I added those journal cards. Okay, so this one flips out. There is stenciling. There's light, It's been lightly stamped. Um, some gesso throughout. More journal cards. And another tag that's been tucked up in here. Beautiful, beautiful images. And avocado paper there. So you can see there's a lot of room for you to write in. Here I've just made this little tuck spot and added a tag just to dress up that page a little bit. And then I've got an eyelet here with some fabric and then another um, printout. And then here we've got an old um, postcard. Just tuck that in there. Make sure that doesn't get creased. Sorry for the noise. My husband's out there trying to add some patio stones. And I didn't realize he was going to be doing that this morning. But we had a break in the weather. But I have to say it looks like it's starting to rain on him as we speak. <laughs> couple more tags here, another little pocket, more stenciling, and then this one I've just created a, another big flip out, and then you've got, um, this has been stitched around that journal card, and then another little tag in here. So this is a double pocket that you could, um, you could move those tags and journal cards around if you want. Another little pocket here that's embossed, and then I've included a uh, these are Artie Mays. I love those. And another journal card. It's collaged with some papers from my scrap. And that is all done on a uh, Edith Holden page. And then here, I'm a bit more of the embossed pockets. Another journal card and another little tag that's got a fussy cut butterfly. I love that book page. Beautiful images. So again, very much a floral nature themed. Um, using a lot of Edith Holden throughout. Another big journal card tucked in there and this is one of the large envelope pockets that I've made. I've collaged all of it with uh, various vintage papers and, you know, textures and things. Old German book page. And then here I've just added some sorry silk to that page. And uh, another one of the baking paper pockets I like to make. I just like the sound of them. I like taking ordinary things from the house and trying to you know, figure out <coughs> ways that I can incorporate them into my journal just because I like, I like for something, you know, something a little bit different. Here we've got a uh, little pocket with a digital postcard and that's an Artie Mays image as well. I can't recall which kit that was from. Um, 
So I would just recommend you buy all of her kits. <laughs> Same with Tracy. Um, because uh, you'll use them time and time again, honestly. I, uh, I just have to keep going back to them. Uh, another old book page. And then I've just... These are the tiny little Tim Holtz um, paper clips. And this was a um, project I did a while back. And this is a double book page pocket so that can float within the journal and then I've got a little tag there that you could write something on if you wanted to so that can be moved throughout and again there's the other side of that um, baking pa paper pocket and another beautiful journal card there so the, here we've got um, this is another pocket with a big tags tucked in there. I've done a tutorial on that pocket so I'll try to remember to link that in the description box because that pocket can be made so that it will flip over as well. Here we've got an altered mailer and then another journal card. I'll tell you the funny story about this mailer because it's a it's a larger window and this is how crazy I've gotten. We we all are, so I don't feel alone. I was at my son's and uh, the work that he does, he gets a lot of mail, and this came through, and I said, yeah, I spotted that larger window. I was like, oh man, we don't get those over in the UK. So I said, Jared, start saving those for me. <laughs> So yeah, I snatched that one because that was the only one that I'd caught before I came back. So that is a piece of um, mail that's come all the way from Washington, D.C. <laughs> so that, you know, I have to add my little stories. But I, I was going to save it actually for my own journal and then it just ended up, you know, it, it, it had to go in this one. But um, So yeah, I love those big window pockets. But... I thought it would be nice to order some of those, but I can't transport all that stuff back here. I don't know what, what I think sometimes, honestly. Another um, layered and collaged uh, journal card. And then this is another um, book page pocket that I used the Edith Holden, so that has room. Uh, but the journal was getting so big, as you can see. Here I've got another um, tag that's been stitched around, another Edith Holden book page pocket, and then this is another one of the little Tim Holtz uh, stitch slot. Uh, yeah, stitch slots. I don't know why I struggle so much with that one. I keep wanting to call it a photo die. And I've just tucked in various things from my stash that I thought looked nice with it. And then that is the back of the cover. I love the um, scrapbooking paper. I'm f almost out of that, but I thought it coordinated beautifully. So on the back here, what I did was just added this large coin envelope. There's nothing in it, uh, but you could add plenty of things there. And then, again, you've got the flips on the back. So she's a big one, you know. It end almost ended up um, where you can see it's pretty pretty big journal, so I didn't want to keep adding. And I, almost everything has something in the pocket, but um, I'm not a fan of, of the, you know, the journals that just get massive. I, I still like, a, I like for them to keep their shape because I know whoever ends up with it is going to want to add their own things, so it is. It's a struggle sometimes, guys, to um, to keep them from just getting too too big. But I I do try to keep them so that whoever gets it, you know, they'll have plenty of space to add their own own little embellishments and things to it, because that's the fun part about it, isn't it? Okay, there she is. This is um. This is complete, and she is in the shop. So if you're interested, my link is in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and uh, walking through this journal with me. You guys have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll be back soon. Bye.